How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of uh, Icarus up in this piece in the form of their Tropopaws. Yeah, this is a pale with lactose coming at 5.5% and comes courtesy of my boy Mike. Thank you very much, Mike, for sending this off, or dropping it off. Social distancing handoff, if you will. Uh, it's a heavily oated and weeded Northeast style pale ale hopped with Columbus, Denali, and Simcoe, and heavily dry hopped with Lupulin Citra, Lupulin Amarillo, Mutueca, Lupulin Simcoe, Columbus, Lupulin Mosaic, and Galaxy. So a bunch of stuff going on on there. Um, this is just a hair over a month old. And like I said, comes crazy to my boy Mike. So let's dive in this sucker, see what it's got. First, like really, really nice day. Like dude, we've had some, by winter standards, some nice days um, this year so far. Um, but today it was like the warm and comfy and you didn't need windows open in a car, the whole nine thing going on. Reminds me of their Go Flight label, um, this does. Uh, that's a little bit different, it's just a little rocket with thing coming out underneath, but it kind of has those vibes to it. And since it's 5.5%, I kind of associated it to, I don't know why. Um, not much of a head going on there, honestly. I mean, it, um, just kind of, you expect this kind of creaminess, this softness from these 5.5% pails, especially when they have lactose involved. You give it a sort of has decent head on it, but it crumbles quite quickly into kind of a soapy, kind of rocky edges. And just got this rich kind of orange core, a little bit darker than what you expect from a 5% pale, but yeah, looking good nonetheless. Let's get a nose. I mean, really is just hop forward. Not a huge hot presence, but appropriate for 5.5%. Uh, very much tropical fruit, weedy dankness, a little bit of citrus floating around in there, done and done. I'm not really getting much as far as lactose on a nose. Um, but it could be more of a mouthfeel thing they're working with here, but it smells quite nice. It smells like a nice citrusy kind of summery style, kind of little hazy pail. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's pretty aggressive on the, on the hop front there, especially in the bittering side of things, on the green side of things. Very much like um, a weedy, danky, slightly hot pellety green there there's no kind of burn to it but i could see this being hyper fresh giving you a little bit of hot burn going on so that green pellet hop is definitely very aggressive on this um flip that script going the other end of things pretty much what i said in the nose leaning heavily in the tropical fruits then you have that little bit of citrus coming in uh, a little bit behind and that lactose i think does two things for this beer one, it adds a little bit of softness to the mouthfeel. More importantly, it takes that sweetness of this beer and kind of brings it down to a confectionery level so it's not as sharp and not as sweet. And I dig that. It's very, very delicate dosage of lactose in here. Nothing too aggressive. And tasty beer. I mean, the mouthfeel is still a little bit aggressive or sharp would be the better word for it. Um, but, you know, not too shabby. I can get down with it. I like what Icarus does. This is kind of um, a more kind of tweaked, kind of aggressive version of that Go Flight that I've had from them. So I'm curious to see if they're actually uh, relatives in some form or fashion as far as base goes, at least small base and maybe an initial hop base. There's a lot of hops going on here. So, um, but yeah, I dig it. I think it's fun. I think it's a well done kind of summery crusher kind of beer and definitely something I wouldn't turn away. So thank you very much, Mike, for um, sharing this because... Uh, Pretty damn tasty stuff. So let's talk about this beer. Is this one of the better um, little hazy pails I've had? It's like, yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? No. It lacks the mouthfeel or just um, that softness and, and richness in the mouthfeel, along with just a little bit more shift for being cryptic in the hops to make it work for me a little bit better, but I think it's quite tasty. You know, yellow jacket playing when down in there. Anyway, um, value and availability on this one. I assume you can get it in Jersey pretty much off the shelf. They're pr pricing on something like this, I'm assuming, give, give or take about 16 bucks, and leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like nice little hazy pails um, with a little aggressive hop backing to it, this is gonna do you proper. And again, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be of kinda going in and seeing that kind of milk sugar lactose call out. Uh, assume it's like something that's very, very heavily dosed. So if you just like that soft mouthfeel and that creaminess and that sweetness that you get from lactose and not like a milkshakes version kind of IPA, then this is probably for you. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massif if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little Icarus right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.